also convert uh, to vector and drag it here. Now we have a x value. If it's not connected, drag it to the x uh, input of the uh, two vector operation. For the i, uh, for the i and z, we will connect a, fl a float with um, zero value, so we don't need them. So now connect the output of two vector operator to the input of texture records uh, output. Uh, now all this is ready. We can close it now. Now we have uh, the texture records for the particles, but we don't have that uh, texture. Now uh, you need to remember be uh, before setting the color from texture, uh, you need to first to define the texture coordinates if particles don't have it. So uh, if you uh, will you, you'll, you'll try to first define the color and then text records, you'll have an error from crap at all. So let's uh, create a new channel, go to global uh, override, uh, crack it all global override and add a new channel modifier. Go to this new channel, open magma flow editor and uh, we'll delete the input color, we don't need it. We'll add a input, a texture map input uh, and connect it to the uh, color output of magma flow. Okay, so now we have the setup uh, uh, for our particles, but we need to define our texture. Uh, texture. Uh, so let's press M to go to material editor. Pick any of materials and uh, go to diffuse and press the, this button. We'll uh, choose the gradient ramp. And now we need to uh, go back to our map, press get texture map and from uh, material editor we'll pick uh, gradient, press ok, uh, okay so press ok, instance, but now we can close this and uh, we can play with uh, our maps. If we will render now, we'll have uh, at the bare field it will be black, at the, uh, when the particle will die, it will be white. B because particle, uh, those particles in the viewport are young, uh, it will uh, have a black color. Because our lifespan is 30 frames. So let's try to render, it will be black. Let's set some color, for example, uh, at the beginning it will be blue, at the middle it will be yellow. Okay, I've added a new color. I need to delete this one. Okay. And at the end it will be red. Okay, like so. So if you render now, we'll have our colors. So let's scroll a little bit to see the dye color at frame 30. If we render now, We can see our dead color and the and the birth color uh, taken from our gradient. So uh, uh, the, uh, one little detail which uh, uh, is left. We go into Krakatoa back, GUI and uh, enable motion blur. Now uh, we have some settings for particle segments and uh, motion blur shooter. Uh, by setting uh, a bigger value here, the, 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 uh, the length of uh, motion will be, will be bigger and uh, the particle segments uh, will define how many particles will be, uh, be between this motion motion uh, the, the motion of a particle so if we we'll set this to true it should be only two particles per uh, motion 
between frames uh, you need to find the good value here to uh, not be too big because the render will be uh, slower but not, uh, and not too low because uh, the quality uh, you, you don't have m uh, so good quality on rendering so let's set this to 4 for example let's try to render now you see our motion blur we can close this now so that's all for this lesson uh, you can uh, render all the, all the um, a timeline by going to by pressing F10 and going to render se setup and uh, cho choose here uh, active time segment or you can choose a range from and set up the frames from one watch frame to watch frame uh, here you could define the file's output uh, don't forget to set up the file type so 3D Max will know how to save and then just press render uh, so that's all. Uh, a little t tip you can now uh, uh, animate with uh, colors gradient by entering out a key and screwing uh, going back and forward in, in the timeline and changing the colors. You can change the colors of the particles uh, through the time. Uh, you also can, uh, before simulating with FimaFix, you can uh, play uh, animate the settings here, like turbulence and so on. So uh, if you want to be less turbulent at the beginning, then more turbulent. Uh, you can set here more uh, less spacing if you want more quality. Uh, also you can uh, render uh, one pass of Krakatoa and then uh, go back to default scan line and uh, render one pass of uh, Fumafix so mix them up in the post so we'll have some aura mm, of particles mm. and uh, also you can uh, render them as some sequence uh, T for PNG, the particles, and then in post add some glow on other effects. <coughs> so that's all for this lesson. Thank you, and sorry for my bad English. Bye.